In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I sound design my sports edits in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you what sound effects I use, where I get them from, and how you can use sound design to make your sports videos sound as good as they look. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. In today's video, we are talking all about sound design. We're getting into the nitty gritty and showing exactly how I sound design my sports videos to show every dribble, every swish, and just create an ambiance or an atmosphere that's more realistic than just using the cam audio. Now, I'm not a professional sound designer. Like, I'm not an audio person, I'm a video person. And this is sound design for video people. So it's not gonna be too, too complicated. You'll be able to follow along with this. And honestly, for sports videos like this, where it's just like really hype and exciting and going on social media, you don't really need to do more than what I'm gonna be doing here in most cases. So we're gonna get into this. I have a very short edit here that's planned out, maybe like a 15 second edit, just so we could kind of see everything without it taking too long. And if you're doing a longer video, of course, to take the concepts that we use in this video and apply it to your video, which is longer. So here I have this little 15 second edit. We'll just play it through once so you can see what we're working with, with just the camera audio and nothing else. that I have this like audio track, a little song that I've got cut to the, uh, to the edit. So it kind of like builds up here and then here's the chorus and then it fades out at the very end. We're gonna keep the music muted for now and just work on making our video sound really good without music. And then once our video sounds really good, then we're gonna reintroduce the music and adjust the levels to make it fit with the rest of our sound effects. So first off, let's talk about what sound effects pack I use. Recently, E over at Beyond the Game TV dropped a sound effects pack called the Ultimate Sports Sound Effects Pack. But basically it's like a sound effects pack that has a bunch of sounds for a whole whack of different sports. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I think it's a really good tool. Like for what you pay for, it just gives you a ton of assets, which are really awesome. So let me get into that really quickly and show you what that's all about. Cause that's really what I'm using most of the time when I'm doing sound design in my sports videos now. All right, so in this panel here, I have the Ultimate Sports SFX Pack from Beyond the Game TV. Full disclosure, I was sent this for free by E because I've done some videos on his channel before and we have a bit of a working relationship, but he didn't ask anything of me. He doesn't even know I'm making this video. I just kind of wanted to because I have to think this is a good asset that's gonna help you. I also don't know what the price of this is right now because last I checked it was $39, but that was on a sale and I don't know if that sale's still gonna be happening when this video comes out. So it might be $59, it might be $39, I'm not quite sure you'll have to check his website if you want to buy this. But anywho, let's look at the sports that it has. So like there's sound effects for baseball, basketball is what we're gonna be using today. Bowling, boxing, cricket, football, golf, hockey, rugby, soccer, tennis, volleyball. I also brought this one sound called basketball indoors sneakers in here because I just had this and there's no sneaker sounds in here and I wanted sneaker sounds. And then there's also bonus stuff like crowds and atmosphere, locker room, whistles, buzzers and horns and whoosh transitions. So let me just pick a random sport. Let's go with golf. I can pick MP3 or WAV. We'll go with WAV files. Now I just click ball hole. You can see there's like a whole bunch of different sound effects and I play them. And it's just a golf ball going in a hole. And you get a few different sounds to work with. We can pick a different sport. Let's go into football. And we're gonna go football tackle. And we have a whole bunch of different tackle sound effects you can use in your football edits. And yeah, this, this just continues like this. And every sport has these files where they basically just put all types of one sound effect into a single file and you can just like get a different bunch of different variations. So I think it's a really good tool for that because it lets you easily sound design your edits and it doesn't start sounding too repetitive. But I digress. Today we're gonna to be using the basketball sound effects. So let's go through and add our sound effects in. We're gonna have a different layer for every single type of basketball sound effect. So you can see here in my audio track mixer, and if you don't have your audio track mixer up, click shift and six, that will bring up the audio track mixer. I've gone from and labeled my layers. So I have audio one right now, which is actually my music layer. I should probably write that. So I'll write music. Audio two is my camera audio. So let's write cam audio. Then here on audio three, I'm gonna put dribbling. Audio four, I'm putting swoosh sound effects. Audio five, I'm putting rim hits. So when the ball hits the rim. 
On audio six, I'm putting dunks. On audio seven, I'm putting the sounds of shoes squeaking and steps. On audio eight, I'm putting when a player catches the ball and the sound of the ball like actually landing in their hands. And if there's anything else that I think I need and any other sound effects they wanna add later, I've added audio layer nine and audio layer 10. If you don't have this many audio layers or you want more audio layers, just come down to where my cursor is right now on the screen, right click and then click add audio track if you wanna add a single track. Or if you want, click add tracks and you can choose how many video tracks you wanna add, how many audio tracks you wanna add and where you wanna add them. You click okay and then it's gonna add those tracks for you. So first we're gonna go through this edit right here and we're going to put a dribble sound effect where every dribble happens. I'm not gonna to worry too much about making it sound perfectly realistic right now and having it totally level. I just wanna put all the sound effects down, then we'll adjust the levels after. So under here we have basketball, dribble. Cool, so we have lots of dribble sound effects in there. Let's take this first one and we're just gonna put it down where we see a dribble. Right there, the ball hits the ground. You can kind of see it right there behind the player's shoe. So we're gonna zoom in here and put a little dribble right where that happens. Let's mute the camera, camera audio so we can actually hear this. Just like that. We're not gonna worry about any of those other sounds, like the sound of the swish, the sound of the steps. We're gonna add all those later. Also, I should mention to you, I did add a little bit of reverb to the sound effect. You can see what's going to happen if I turn the reverb off. Let's just turn that off for a second. This is what the dribble sound effect sounds like with the reverb off. For me, it sounds like it's in a bit too small of a room. Like this is a big stadium. There should be a little bit of reverb on it. So I added this little medium sized cave reverb and then I mixed it down so that it was only slightly mixed with the sound effect. And now it sounds like this. I think it's a bit more realistic for the space that we're in, which is a big stadium, not some little gym. But anywho, we're gonna go through and keep finding where dribbles happen. There's no dribbles there. There's a dribble, so let's put a sound effect in right there when the ball hits the ground. We'll just hold option and drag that out. And then on a different one of these dribble sound effects, we'll line it up with where our cursor is. If you see, you see this sound effect isn't perfectly lining up, like the start of the sound effect is a little bit too far forward, but if I move it the other way by one frame, it's like too far back. So if you want to line your sound effects up perfectly, you come to these three little horizontal lines here and you can click show audio time units. This lets you zoom in and make these precise, fine detail adjustments. So I can really position my sound effect so that the start of the sound effect is right where this dribble happens. So that's much more accurate. And although it's a little bit tedious to be so accurate, I think it is worth it in the long run. So we're gonna keep going through. There's another dribble. Let's turn show audio time units off for a second. There we go. Now we're gonna go show audio time units. Put that in the right spot. Do we have another dribble? Right there. So let's bring this dribble sound effect over to there. You kind of see what I'm doing now. Like I think you get the point. I'm just going through and adding all the dribbles in everywhere. Not the most complicated process. A little swish sound. Yeah, and that's all the dribbles we have. So it's a pretty short video just to get an example, but now all our dribbles are in. So now let's go through and add all of our swoosh sound effects. So we're gonna go basketball, net. And we'll zoom out. We have a few net sound effects here that we can use. So you can see I've kind of already marked one off that I like, but there's some others as well. We're gonna go through and just every time we see the ball go in the net and there's a little swoosh, we will add a little swoosh sound effect. So let's get off show audio time units so I can properly scrub through the footage. Right there is kind of where the ball hits the net. So let's put the peak of our swoosh right at that moment. Also important to note, the swoosh sound of a ball going into the basket is gonna be louder on a shot from further away, like a three pointer, than it will be for like a little layup like you just saw there. So I don't want the swoosh sound effect for that layup to be so loud and pronounced because it's just not lifelike. I'd rather have that one be a lot more subtle and have the swoosh sound for a deep three pointer that has a little bit more momentum on it as the ball's traveling down at a faster rate be a little louder. So we're just simply gonna take 
the volume on this particular sound effect and drag it down by eh, eight or nine decibels. I'll play that back. That was still maybe a little bit too loud for my liking. Let's bring it down a little more. I think that's fine. We may need to make adjustments to that as we go, but we'll see. You can see here, the ball goes in. It was a corner three. This sound effect is gonna need to be a little bit more loud, I guess, unlike the last one. So let's bring this back up to zero dB. And we're gonna take the next swish sound effect so it sounds a little different. We'll see if this one kind of sounds correct. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We're, we're gonna have to make adjustments to this as we go. But this is gonna be a good first pass for us. Now we just have a little dunk. We'll come back and do dunks later. Fans cheering, we should be able to use cam audio for that. And there's another swoosh. This one is very close to the camera. So I'm gonna make this one a little bit louder than the rest of them, just to kind of like compensate for the fact that this one is happening right in your face. So let's actually duplicate this. I'll turn this one down a few decibels to like maybe minus five or minus six. And then this next swoosh sound effect right here is gonna be the loudest. So we're gonna keep that one all the way at zero decibels. And right there should be good. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna add our rim hitch. Were there any rim hits? Did the ball ever even hit the rim in this edit? No, not really, eh? Does the ball hit the rim on this shot? No, the ball doesn't even hit the rim. You should be adding rim hits if you have an edit where the ball hits the rim, but if the ball doesn't hit the rim, then don't add rim hits, I suppose. So we're gonna skip through that and we're gonna add our dunks. We only have one dunk in this video and it's right here. So right there is where the player touches the rim. So let's start the slam dunk sound effect from there. We're gonna kind of find one that we like here. That was not bad. I kind of like this one, but I don't think I want both Part, I think I just want that second kind of hit. Yeah, not that part. That part, that's what I want. So let's just take that and we'll put it right here. That's not bad, maybe a little loud. We'll adjust the volume later. We know that we only have this single dunk so we can easily adjust that. Now we want to go through and add the shoes. So every time someone takes a step, I want to add a footstep. And we can either do that using that shoe squeak sound effect that I brought in, or you can just get like regular footsteps. Um, I'm going to go through and add a little shoe squeak every time someone steps. And I'm going to use like louder shoe squeaks if the person's like going into a pull up jumper and like really digging their feet into the ground. And they're just taking regular steps. I might use like little small squeaks and maybe even mix in like a sound of a regular footstep. Also something to note, I'm not going to be like so meticulous and put a little footstep down every time any player takes a step because it's kind of excessive. Just the person who's the subject of the edit, so like if someone has the ball and they're going for a layup, I'm just gonna do that person's footsteps because that's who the audience is looking at. So I want you to be able to hear the sound of that person. I want you to focus on that person, both with your eyes and with your ears. Let's take this player with, who's going for the layup. His right foot seems to hit the ground right about there. So we're just gonna take one little squeaky shoe sound effect. I'm gonna put it right in there. And then there another foot hits the ground. So let's go to the next little squeaky shoe effect. Drop it right there. Maybe make this a little bit quieter, it's a little loud. And then right there he has a sh shoe hit the ground. So we'll move this over a little. Maybe just drag that out. There we go. And then he also has a foot hit the ground right there. So bring this in. And let's have that fade out slowly. That left foot's already on the ground that right foot for this player hits the ground. I don't know if that makes such a squeak sound effect. That's probably just like a regular footstep. Let me go back to like what's my regular sound effects that I've gathered and just see if I have a footstep. All right, that's footsteps on concrete, which isn't perfect, 
But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use it because this is the footsteps that I have right now. So let's grab one of these footsteps here. And by the way, if you're ever looking for just random sound effects, I recommend going to a website called freesound.org. It's like open source, user uploaded sound effects. You can go in there and just download them. They have different type of licenses available. So you can click on a sound effect and read what the license is and then download it and use it for the purposes of that specific license. That you do have to make an account on the website, but it's a great resource for some free sound effects if you don't have access to anything else. So let's put this concrete step sound effect right in there. Kind of steps there, so let's move it over a frame. There we go. Hmm. Neither of those were really right, so let's go show audio time units, put it in the right spot. That's not bad, maybe turn it down a little. Get off show audio time units. And what about this shooter? We have one foot hit the ground there. So let's bring these ones over that we're not using. Let me turn that down a little. There we go, in a second it hits the ground right there. So let's bring that in. Put that at the perfect spot, right in there. Fade that out. We got a whole bunch of footsteps happening right here. Look, I think you get the gist of how to put the footsteps into the edit. So I'm gonna go through this video, finish putting all the footsteps in, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna check back in with you. All right, so I went and added all the footstep sound effects. Now we're gonna add some catch sound effects, a couple ancillary sound effects, just for fun, basically. And then I'm gonna play through our edit just without any level adjustments with just the sound effects and nothing else. So there was a couple of ball catches in here. I know that there's this one player who catches a pass right here. So let's just go and add a catch effect. Catch, basketball. Do we have a double catch by any chance in here? Let me see if I can see one that has two audio spikes. Yeah, that's perfect. Take that one. You need to be a little more spaced out. There, the ball hits his second hand there, so let's just go. Maybe over one frame. That's not bad. I want to add a little catch sound effect right there as that other hand comes on, like right there. So let's go through and just grab another catch sound effect, this time just a single sound. That's perfect. We'll put that right where our marker is, where we've set it. Oh, that lines up pretty well. That's pretty good. Now we obviously don't have any crowd cheering or ambience yet. And I'm just gonna use the camera audio for this because I actually picked up some pretty good audio of the crowd cheering at this game. If you didn't pick up good audio of the crowd cheering at the game or there wasn't much of a crowd and you need to kind of like make it seem like there's ambience, then under the basketball pack here, there's also like a couple of ambience effects you can use. If we pop into like the bonus section, you know, like crowds and atmospheres. So you can just go through and like pick like crowd cheer And you have stuff like this, where it's basically just a crowd cheering. You can put it in the background and it makes it sound like you have a really lively audience. There's obviously a few different versions of it. So this is like a more of a bigger crowd. And you can go through and use those crowd sound effects as well and lay them out the same way I've been laying out all of this stuff. All right, now one more ancillary thing that I want to do. I want to add like some whoosh sound effects and like just some creative sound design, I suppose. So we're just going to call audio track nine here. Whoosh. Just like that. And we're just gonna go into the bonus whooshes here. 
We're gonna grab some of these that we like. Hmm. That was kind of cool. So I'm gonna go to when a ball gets shot, like right here. I'm gonna put like that little airplane whoosh sound effect in to make it sound like the ball's taken off and build a little bit of suspense while the ball's hanging in the air. So before it sounded like this. And now it's more like this. I think that sounds a lot more full. Obviously we still need to go through and add a lot of stuff and this is not close to done, but I kind of like that. So we're gonna go through and add sound effects similar to that in a couple places where there are some jump shots. That's pretty good. I kind of like it how the, the whoosh kind of like hits and then fades out as the ball goes in the net, adds a little bit of emphasis to this big shot. All right, so here is our edit played through with just sound design. And after you hear this, we're gonna go through and add some cam audio and then the music. Okay, I'm just realizing that I actually forgot to add any of the footsteps for this last shot. Go through and add the footsteps for all your shots if you're doing so for your edit. But anywho, now we're gonna turn on the cam audio by unmuting this layer, and we're gonna listen to the cam audio alone by soloing it. Any cam audio that's relevant for our edit, stuff like crowds cheering when a shot goes in, we're leaving it. Any crowd audio that's not relevant doesn't really fit our edit. For example, if the DJ is playing music at the venue and you can clearly hear it, we're gonna get rid of that cam audio and not use it because that will just kind of compete with the music that we have. It'll compete with our sound effects. It doesn't really add anything to the edit. So we're not worrying about it. Like here, this we're not using. So let's get rid of that. We can just kind of, man, I'll just delete this. We'll unlink this and drag it out because this was good. So let's go through. We don't want to use that whistle sound, so we'll cut that off. We'll bring this sound a little more in. We kind of want a sound effect of a crowd cheering when we get this swoosh right here. So let's go through to our crowd and atmosphere. We're gonna go crowd cheer. There's a little crowd cheer. So we'll take that, we'll call audio 10, crowd, pop down here, and put that right where that swoosh happened. Let's make it so that you can hear the big crowd cheer when this dunk happens. So we'll drag that out a little and add a little crosses also fades well into the next clip. Maybe a little heavier, there we go. We'll also cross dissolve this one. We want that transition to be really smooth. That's not bad. And I also want to grab that big cheer when this shot goes in. So we'll unlink that and just drag her out. That's good. And we'll drag that all the way to the end and we'll let that fade out by adding two points with the music. That's not bad. Now I did notice when we were playing this through, if you look at this bar here, you can see how hot our audio levels are. When we're playing this cam audio through, it's really hot, like we're peaking. So I want to take this cam audio layer, 
we'll come into our audio track mixer and we'll just drag the volume down. Maybe we can just type it down. Let's type minus 10 dB. That's a little more balanced. Oh, I almost realized now that I did not fade this out. Maybe we just bring this to the back, as close to zero as we can. And then we're just gonna to come to our audio track mixer and reduce the sound of this crowd sound effect. We can also drag this out and put two points, give it a little bit of a ramp in. And then we can drag it out real far and we'll give it like a nice long ramp out, kind of like that. So it's not so noticeable when that cuts in and out. And let's just raise the volume right here because we want to hear that crowd reaction when the dunk happens. And the same thing here. Let's just raise the volume here because we want that crowd reaction when this big shot goes in to be really hype. That's pretty good. So now we're gonna listen back to this. We're gonna see what of the sound effects we added are being overpowered and what's standing out a little bit too much. And those same adjustments that we just made to the crowd noise, we're gonna make those volume adjustments to all these other sound effects that we added. So let's go back and listen. Hmm, footsteps might be a little loud. Switches maybe not loud enough. Dunk was a little loud. Yeah, switch was fine. The other ones were a little quiet. Okay, so first thing I noticed, the shoes were a little bit too loud, so let's drag those down a bit. Also, we had that one dunk. That was a little loud in my opinion, so bring that down. The swooshes, in my opinion, were not loud enough. So let's bring that up. The only one that I thought was loud enough was the last one. So I'm just gonna reduce that down by the same amount that we brought the other ones up. So we can keep that at the same volume. So right about there. That should be a little bit better. Let's listen to it again. Maybe this comes down a little bit more. The whooshes might have been a little extra as well. Bring that down a little. I also want to make this crowd sound a little higher just as we come in. Maybe let's get rid of this all together and we just connect these two. And let's give them a nice big cross as I'll drag that out. Yeah, that's better. That's not bad, I kind of like how this gets quieter here as the shot's in the air, create a little bit of anticipation. But overall, I think this sounds pretty good considering the amount of time that we put into it. So now we're gonna reintroduce the music, listen to this edit with music, and then mix the music back in so it's an appropriate volume to not cut off our sound effect, but still be heard. So let's unmute this music layer and listen to this track with the music. And we'll make adjustments to the music on the fly here. Now one thing that we can do with the music, we can actually automate the volume of the music to go up and down as the edit happens. You can technically do this with all your sound effects, but we don't really have to in this case. But for the music, I kind of want to start it off a little bit quieter and then bring it in and control that volume. So we're going to go here where it says read and change that to touch. Now when we click the spacebar button to start this, we're going to be able to drag this up and down while the video plays. And the volume is going to then play at the volume that we dragged it to while the video was happening and it's kind of going to like animate like that. It'll make more sense when we do it, but let me just play this video through. Watch as I drag this up and down, and we're going to change the volume of this music to kind of like animate throughout the video. So that was just one pass, just to kind of make the volume of the music go up at key times and kind of down when there was like a little bit of a lull or we were waiting for a big moment to happen. Obviously this is very fast. I purposely made it that way because I wanted to keep the tutorial to like a reasonable time and I had a pretty short edit here. 
but this edit now sounds a lot better in my opinion than it did before. So I'm gonna play both edits for you back to back, the one without sound design and our new one with sound design and you can tell me the difference. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I would love to have you around for those. And if you have any other questions, concerns, something I left out, or you just wanna say hi to me, let me know in the comments. I'd love to have a chat with you down there. Also, huge thank you to E from Beyond the Game TV for sending me this sound effects pack for free. Once again, can't thank him enough. I would definitely pay him for it. I've literally been using it so much and it has everything that I need to make my basketball videos sound better. So if you wanna get it, go check out his channel. I'll put like a link to where you can get that sound effect pack in the description. Um, I'm sure he'd appreciate it because he also makes some really good content. But anywho, that is going to be all for this video. So until next time, peace.